Hello, this is a review of the Snap and Store CD storage box. Now I love these boxes, enough that I own six of them now, but they're not without their faults. Uh, but compare it to the alternatives, what you're going to use to store things like this is find some other box that's not quite the right size, or I was using a shoe box before, that I think these are excellent for the being just the right size that I want. Uh, basically it comes in folded form such as you see here and you can fold up these panels and snap them together. Um, so it's constructed of what is pretty much flat pieces of cardboard surrounded by almost like a black masking tape that has lets it hinge and then where it needs to connect you use these snaps. Um, so what we see when we build it is a box that looks like this. Now for me it's a replacement of a shoe box which isn't really the right size to hold discs you know like this that uh, it does a much better job being just the right size for. So if I take off the lid we can see what it lo looks like inside here. <clears throat> so it's perfectly sized for storing things like loose CDs in, the, in their sleeves. You can put them in and they come to just about the top of the box in, in their paper sleeves. <clears throat> so um, I'll use this to store all my computer backups or other backups I might have. But it doesn't fit things like a jewel case. So if I put a jewel case in here, you'll notice that it, you know, it, it reaches over the uh, side of the box. And of course it doesn't fit this way. However, to be fair, if you're willing to put it sideways, Obviously you can still put it in there. So you can stack maybe just a few, three, three wide this way and it might, might work. Um, so as a CD storage box, it's important to note that it doesn't mean the CD jewel cases that you might have. And of course, um, DVDs um, also would be uh, too tall to fit in the box, um, unless you're willing to put it sideways again. And obviously not this way either. So, but this is a CD storage box, so let's focus on that. So it's really about being able to put the, put your loose paper sleeves um, in the box, and then I'll, I'll, I personally build little paper or cardboard dividers so that I can um, put tabs at the top and fold between. So um, it is perfectly sized to store things just like this, so that you can throw the, box, the, the lid on and go ahead and store it. Now they stack well, except that you have to talk about their durability then. So when you stack it, such as we see here, all of the weight gets pushed down onto, you know, onto this here. And until the side buckles, none of mine have, it's really going to support a lot of things. It makes this nice little square and you can store things on, on top. Now let's talk more about uh, the construction and durability. So the, the box itself is pretty stable. I mean, as you see here, as I'm pushing side to side, it, it really holds okay, um, but it's held together by snaps, which adds to the little bit looseness. So as we see here, right, that's all that's holding it together. I almost wonder or wish that what if it were glued, you know, or stapled, would it have been better if it came pre-built? Uh, but it's actually just fine. They do not come off easily, um, but they only took a little pressure to get it off but I definitely haven't had any problem with these coming loose on me. Um, but let's look more about the material. So it's basically like cardboard and this black stuff seems more like masking tape and you can notice it more on the edges. And as we come around the edges, you'll notice that it's really just like thin paper that's, only, that's connecting this panel to this panel here. It doesn't seem to be continuous cardboard or if it is, it could have fooled me, because there seems to be a gap on these corners. And the same is true on the bottom of the box. You see on the, cor the edges down there? So the weakest points are the joints that we have here. So this is the weakest point. So when I put the lid on and I go to carry around the box, um, I definitely notice the... the it, when, especially when particularly full, I feel like the bottom panel is only being hung on by these paper thin masking tape like sides. But I've never had a problem with it either. Um, the lid comes with the same material and these little metal 
metal things on the side do protect the bottom of the corners, but it's more for show because the top corners and um, these down here, which will get, you know, you'll get a little bit more beat up on the bottom corner there than you would on the lids corner. So these are really for show when you see these metal things here. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this for an everyday box. If you're going to be routinely getting these in and out of your closet, uh, you know, such as in an office environment for things you reference every day, it's definitely not going to sustain for the long haul. But if you want to be able to put things in a closet and store things and access them once in a while, I think these are perfectly fine. Enough that I say five star because I haven't found a better alternative that was perfectly sized for storing CD sleeves um, that I had. Um, I have six of these. I can I stack them two or three high without trouble on the floor in a closet. Um, I rather wish that the sides were made out of plastic or some other material and I kind of almost wish that this they were connected by something better than this. But um, with full disclosure, if you understand what it is and what your alternatives were, um, if you find a better box, let me know about it. But um, with this, I rather like them. I mean, I was using shoe boxes, and the problem with shoe boxes is you end up not being able to fit everything standing tall, right? These are perfectly sized so that they come to the to the lids edge edge here. With the shoe box, I had to continually leave things, you know, laying down like this. And when you get the box whole all full, then eventually some of them fall and topple over if it's not, you know, perfectly filled. And then you're continually picking them up. With this, I can put them up. I put I put, uh, put inserts in here. It would have been nice if they included some of those inserts with tabs on the top, like a tabbed folders. Um, and then, then I can more easily leaf through these. So, uh, that's my review. Hopefully it helps. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're the best alternative I've found. I think they're great. Thanks for watching the review.